What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Heritage Gold Rush. And I'm excited to bring to you today that MindLab has released the official announcement video for the Gold Monster 2000. I told you in my previous video that I would give you guys an update when I learn more about the availability, the pricing, and the exact specs of the new Gold Monster 2000. And I've got it for you. So I'm here today with my son, Cody Ray Jr. He's helping me film this video. And uh, I'm looking to uh, show you guys the official video. We're going to kind of dissect it as we watch it. And then I am going to break down for you guys the pros and cons, as far as I know it, of the new Gold Monster 2000. So jumping straight into it, we get this quick scene showing the head unit with water falling on it, which I think is a little ironic because the new Gold Monster 2000 does not have a waterproof head unit. This is a little disappointing considering the Manticore and the Equinox series machines all come out of the box with waterproof capabilities up to Before 16 feet. Wakes, now one thing I really will give MindLab credit for is they listen to users' feedback on the original drive. Gold Monster 1000 and opted to Where redesign the stock lost. system for the Gold Monster 2000 to be a collapsible system comparable to what you would get on their Equinox you series or the MindLab Manticore. Now, something they did drop the ball on, which I got to say I'm really disappointed in, is the fact that they decided not to give the Gold Monster 2000 wireless headphone capabilities. I surely thought, and I stated in my previous video, that it was kind of a given that the new Gold Monster 2000 was going to have wireless headphone capabilities. And for one reason or another, MindLab decided to go the opposite route and in fact, um, they are including with the new Gold Monster 2000 a pair of wired earbuds, not wired headphones like the ML85s or even the original ones that came with the Gold Monster 1000, but a pair of wired earbuds. Gotta say, I'm kind of disappointed with that. There are aftermarket Bluetooth uh, devices that you can use, but it really would have been nice if MindLab had given us a More pair of wireless headphones compatible with the new machine. Matters. And while we're going over some shortcomings and of the new Gold Monster 2000, is it is worth noting that the original Gold Monster 1000 suffered from a top-heavy head unit design, top which had a tendency to make the machine tip over when placed down on the ground or uneven ideas, terrain. Now, the Gold Monster 2000 has pretty much the same identical head unit design, so it doesn't take a genius to imagine that the new unit will suffer from the same problems Ready as the first. With that being said, we see that the new Gold Monster 2000 comes with two coil options, the stock 5-inch coil and an additional 10-inch coil which can be purchased separately. As I mentioned earlier, the new Gold Monster 2000 is coming stock with a 5-inch coil and a pair of wired earbud headphones. Now, i got to say, I think that MindLab is insane for selling this machine at $17.99 without wireless headphone capabilities, especially considering that the Manticore comes stock with the ML105 wireless headphones. Now, there are some other things that we need to address with the Gold Monster 2000 that have been kind of floating around in the rumor mill, which is that this machine is going to be a hybrid machine featuring pulse induction technology and VLF. Now, I must admit that when I first saw the leaked videos coming from the dealer conference, I was pretty hyped and excited. And uh, personally, I thought that we were gonna be receiving some kind of hybrid technology. But the more that I thought about it, and the more that I did some researching and some reading in some of the detecting forums, uh, that I kind of came to the conclusion that this whole pulse induction hybrid technology is nothing more than a marketing ploy by MindLab uh, and a good one at that. But let's kind of think about this logically, right? If MindLab had invented a new pulse induction hybrid VLF technology, would they really be offering it on a lower end model like the Gold Monster 2000. Uh, if they were coming out with a new technology, it would be something that we would see in a premier machine like the rumored GPX 8000 or something of that caliber. It wouldn't make sense for them to release a new technology that undercuts all of their current pulse induction machines uh, at a price point that is much cheaper. Uh, 
Now, I don't doubt that the new uh, Gold Monster 2000 is going to be a much quieter and a much smoother, uh, deeper detecting machine. And in large part, this is going to be from the multi-AU technology, which is essentially the multi-Q technology featured in MindLab's other machines like the Manticore, kind of put over into the Gold Monster and pre-tuned with uh, settings that are ideal for detecting gold. Now, the multi-frequency technology of the multi-AU system is such that with the lower frequencies, you're gonna get greater depth and penetration into the soil and that the higher frequencies are gonna be ideal for detecting small pieces of gold. But if you look at the marketing ads and campaign and, and information available for the new Gold Monster 2000, there's nothing that outright says that this machine actually has pulse induction technology on it. It simply says that it has pulse induction-like capabilities, which I think is a key giveaway that this machine is not actually going to feature pulse induction technology. I am very excited for the new Gold Monster 2000. I think it is going to be a major improvement over the Gold Monster 1000, especially in regards to the collapsible stock, uh, the uh, target ID system, the uh, multi-frequency, as I mentioned, is going to help tremendously with making the machine much quieter, especially on hot soils, and give us some increased depth but I think people need to go into purchasing this machine with a clear understanding that this machine is not going to be comparable to some of the higher end pulse induction machines that MindLab or even uh, the Garrett Axiom um, are, is currently featuring, right? I don't think we're gonna be picking up you know, subgram pieces at uh, 10 to 12 inches deep with this machine. But I would expect that you are going to be able to pick up very small pieces of gold, probably sub tenth of a gram at somewhere in the four to five inches deep, uh, especially if you're using that 10 inch coil. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the key features of the new Gold Monster 2000. We've got the multi AU technology, which is a hybrid simultaneous multi frequency with VLF sensitivity and pulse induction ground handling performance. Now, the key words there, pulse induction, ground handling performance are the dead giveaway, as I mentioned previously, which is that this machine is not going to actually feature pulse induction technology, but should have comparable performance in large part due to the multi-frequency technology. Those lower frequencies, which are going to range from 12 to 75 kilohertz, help detect small gold near the surface and those larger targets at depth. What I am really excited about in addition to this new multi-AU technology is the Echo Wave audio system. This system is going to feature enhanced tones that are going to help us cut through the noise to identify real targets. Now, if you've ever used the Gold Monster 1000, some of you might remember that it could be kind of tricky at times to differentiate uh, ferrous tones from good target tones. And I think with this new Echo Wave audio system, that is uh, not really going to be an issue anymore. Um, we're going to get the real-time visual guidance, which is essentially that gold chance indicator that the original Gold Monster had, where it would either ping to the left or to the right to indicate iron versus uh, non-ferrous targets. But in addition to that, we are also going to get a target ID ranging from 0 to 99. This is going to be akin to what you would have on the MindLab Manticore or any of their other Park Relic Beach machines. Now, this is really helpful because a lot of people found that the gold mode on the Equinox 800 or the MindLab Manticore was actually preferable to the original Gold Monster 1000 because of that target ID. A lot of times when detectors were hunting ground that had already been hit by pulse induction machines, they found that having that target ID system that could tell them lower numbers, especially 0 to 10, was very helpful in indicating a small piece of gold that had been missed over by the pulse induction machines or even a machine like the Gold Monster 1000. Now, the new Gold Monster 2000 is going to feature 10 sensitivity levels in two auto modes. That's on par with the original Gold Monster 1000. And it's going to have three detection modes for maximum sensitivity in mineralized, conductive, and mild soils. As I mentioned, it has a wide frequency range from 12 to 75 kilohertz. It's going to have a lightweight telescopic shaft. Uh, it actually has a carbon fiber upper shaft and a fiberglass lower shaft so that the lower portion of the shaft does not interfere with the machine itself. Included in the box is going to be a 5-inch double-D waterproof coil, the tele telescopic shaft, 
control pod armrest, two rechargeable lithium ion batteries. I thought that was really cool. Wired earbuds, AC and car chargers, and a getting started guide. Okay, so now that we've had a chance to cover some of the basic key features and details of the new Gold Monster 2000, I think we should take a moment and discuss whether or not this machine is a good buy for anyone. Um, for myself, I'm really excited about getting this machine. Uh, I've always had a role for a VLF machine when I go out detecting. Now, I normally use a pulse induction machine most of the time, but there are some situations in which I prefer a VLF. Uh, like the new Gold Monster 2000. Now, when I'm exploring a new area, when I uh, am interested in determining whether or not there is gold or a giveaway piece, as I call it, I usually use a VLF machine like the Gold Monster 1000 or the MindLab Manticore on gold mode. Um, there's a couple reasons for this. It's lightweight, which is really helpful if I am trying to cover a lot of ground in a new area. And having the discrimination features of a VLF machine are really helpful in speeding up the process of finding a potential giveaway piece. Um, in addition to that, if I have a patch that I've been working for some time with my pulse induction machines, where I've been finding gold consistently, I like to come back over that same area with a VLF machine like the Gold Monster 2000 and see what I've missed. And I often find that there are uh, several, uh, if not dozens of pieces, small pieces, usually sub tenth of a gram or smaller, that the pulse induction machines have just not heard. And that's gold that I do not want to leave behind. So uh, in those two scenarios, when I'm scouting or when I'm going back over ground that I've already cleared with the pulse induction machines, I really find that a machine like this new Gold Monster 2000 would be ideal. Now, for those of you who are experienced detectorists and are already coming from using a VLF machine, the Gold Monster 2000 might not be the ideal purchase for you. For $17.99, uh, you're getting essentially an upgraded VLF machine. But this machine, as I had mentioned previously, is not going to be on par with a true pulse induction machine. There are other machines on the market that for similar pricing are gonna give you much greater detection capabilities in terms of uh, uh, depth and quietness on mineralized soils and bedrock. Um, perfect example would be the Garrett Axiom. The Axiom Lite, which is just the uh, Garrett Axiom machine uh, base, uh, base package, comes with an 11 inch mono coil and a machine. Um, that is only about $2,000. So for essentially $200 more, you can get a true and dedicated pulse induction machine. Now, the Garrett Axiom, for example, is, a, um, is not as user-friendly as a machine like the Gold Monster 2000 is gonna be. One thing that I always really liked about MindLab, in particular, the Gold Monster 1000, was that it was really designed to be extremely user-friendly out the gate. And if you don't have any experience with the pulse induction machine, something like this new Gold Monster 2000 is gonna be the preferred machine for a new user. But if you're already coming from a VLF machine, where you have plenty of experience uh, using that you and you want to upgrade, um, this might not be the fit for you. You might be better off saving your bucks and either buying like a Garrett Axiom or if you really want to get the best bang for your buck and as I say, buy once, cry once, maybe save up and buy something like the GPX 6000, which is uh, in my book, one of the top pulse induction machines on the market, um, albeit uh, almost two, three times as expensive as this new Gold Monster 2000 is going to be. Now, if you are a new detectorist and you're looking to spend a few dollars, but maybe not as much as uh, a pulse induction would run you, I think this that this new Gold Monster 2000 is going to be an ideal deal machine for you. Uh, for you know, $17.99, $1,800, you're going to get a machine that is good to go out the gate and is going to feature a lot of technology, which is going to uh, give you a very um, in, uh, enhanced experience for a first-time detectorist or a, uh, being a new detectorist, and is going to uh, significantly increase your odds of, of successfully finding gold. And I think that is something that a lot of people overlook, which is you can have the most expensive machine on the market, but I would uh, personally rather have a machine that I know well and know how to use than a very expensive machine that I do not know how to use, right? Essentially, what I'm getting at is, you know, uh, 
it's better to have a machine that you can learn and understand than one that confuses you and you just want to put in your closet. Because I can't tell you how many times I've seen people buy a machine, they get the top dollar machine, and it's just too much machine for them to handle, especially for their experience level as a detectorist. And so I think that the Gold Monster 2000 is going to be really ideal for new detectorists or for people that are maybe trying to segue from detecting parks, beaches, fields, and things like that into the gold uh, the gold field fields, right? Dedicated to finding gold. Now, there are going to be some people that are going to say, well, I already have a uh, Mind Lab Manticore or the Equinox 800 or the 900 with gold mode. And don't get me wrong, those are ideal machines, but those machines have been designed for other purposes in addition to their dedicated gold modes. Whereas in the new Gold Monster 2000 is a gold dedicated machine. All of the settings, all of the features on this machine are tuned exactly to finding gold. So um, if you already have a VLF machine that is uh, adept at finding gold, but maybe you would like to try the Gold Monster 2000 and you don't want to spend that extra money to go in over to a pulse induction machine, um, I definitely think that this would be an improvement over what you currently have. There is no reason that, uh, you know, my lab would release a new Gold Monster 2000 that isn't uh, superior in performance to one of their existing um, uh, gold modes or gold dedicated machines like the Gold Monster 1000. Now, I would say that it is important that people understand, and I keep mentioning this for a reason, that this machine is not going to be on par with a true pulse induction machine. The multi-AU technology is going to give you a significant improvement over uh, a machine like the Gold Monster 1000. It's just the nature of the beast with the multi-frequencies, right? Those lower frequencies are going to pick up pieces of gold at greater depth. And then the higher frequencies, which this new Gold Monster 2000 goes up to 75 kilohertz, whereas in the original Gold Monster 1000 only went to, I believe, 40 or 45 kilohertz. So we're going to see an improvement on both ends, on the high frequencies and the, and the low frequencies for the new Gold Monster 2000. But that being said, do not expect that you're going to be uh, going toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with your buddies that are rocking uh, a Garrett Axiom or an STC 2300 or, or God forbid, a, a GPX 6000 or something like that. Um, this is a great machine. I am really excited to purchase this machine uh, for myself personally. Like I mentioned earlier, there is um, times where I really like using a VLF and it has its advantages. So just understand that when you're going to buy this machine, um, it, it has a niche and it has a role. It's going to be a very good machine. I'm very excited about it, but uh, go, go into it understanding what the pros and cons and the limitations and capabilities of this new technology, as MindLab's calling it, uh, what it's really going to be giving you. So if you enjoy this video, I suge suggest that you subscribe because I will be releasing more videos uh, detailing the Gold Monster 2000 when it finally arrives and I'm able to get out and um, get some videos demonstrating it. But I would also mention that in my previous videos, I uh, said that on my website, heritagegoldrush.com, um, I will be offering a select number of pre-order uh, availability on some of these new Gold Monster 2000 units where if people are interested, they can pay a partial deposit on this new machine and lay away a uh, Gold Monster 2000. This machine uh, is already getting tremendous demand from other dealers. I contacted my supplier today and they've already received several pre-orders for the machine even though they do not have an expected ETA on this machine. I have booked something like 10 machines in reserve, so I should have about at least 10 machines for pre-order on my website. That's heritagegoldrush.com. Um, I highly suggest you go there, check it out. Um, if you're interested in getting this machine sooner than later, uh, now would be the time to go to my website and reserve one of those 10 units for yourself. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned because I'll have some more information for you as soon as I got it.